Hey, what's going on, Crypto Army? I'm Travis, your crypto newbie, bringing you my experiences here up learning things the hard way. Just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. None of my content should be viewed as financial advice. If you like what my content offers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on the notifications so you get notified when I post new content. It really does help the channel grow and get the content to others that might find it interesting. So what are we going to take a look at today? I thought today we'd take a look at Evergrow Coins rewards or their income or the reflections or the distributions, whatever you want to call that Binance pegged USD that you get every 60 minutes. Just for clarification, it's considered rewards or income and it is taxable. Every time you get those, that's income that you're getting. So at the end of the year, you have to keep track of what you're getting when you got it. That way you can record it on your tax return. If you didn't know that, you might want to check out one of my other videos where I cover that. Now back to this for a second. So how do we calculate what we're getting in Binance pegged USD? Evergrow is a little bit different than some of the other ones that are out there. So it isn't as simple as just doing the calculations based off SafeMoon or Saitama. The total supply that they use is actually excluding the burn wallet. So the actual total supply is significantly lower than one quadrillion tokens. So our calculation is very different. And you might ask, well, Travis, how did you know that? And I would say, good question, because it's not on their website. And you wouldn't know it if, unless you were watching some of their videos. And every once in a while they do these interviews on different uh, YouTube channels. That's where the information is at. Well, how do I know it's accurate? Because it came from the team. Why is it on their website? That is a great question. And I really wish that somebody from some of these tokens that I review would watch this and learn that they should probably put relevant information that investors should know on their website. Because if you're trying to compare this to say, Safer, or some of the Vault tokens are out there or some of the other ones that are similar to this, that is an important distinction between this token and the others. Safe Moon, Saitama, all of, almost every other token out there, their distributions are based off the total supply of one quadrillion or 100 quadrillion or whatever the total supply happens to be. That isn't the case for this one. It's actually significantly lower, which means you get a lot more rewards and you might increase your investors and your potential investors if they knew that information. But I'm gonna get off of this topic. It's just one of my, uh, frustrations because I would love to see these tokens do really well and there's a lot of information that's just not available on the website that I think a lot of investors would want to know. So you're hurting yourself by not keeping your website up to date. Just my two cents. All right, let's get back to the calculation. So what do we need to know to do the calculation? It's actually pretty easy. So on their website, we need their price and we're also going to need to know how many tokens are in the burn wallet. And then we're also going to need the volume. Now the volume's right here, but I don't like using this volume. I would rather use a full day's volume. So I'll go back a day and look at the historical data. So we can see that it was $11 million yesterday. So we're going to use that for the volume calculation. And then we'll use 2864 for the price. Now, how many tokens are burned? How do we figure that out? It's not on coin market cap. So you have to hit the explorers. And if you go over to Explorers, you're going to come up on BSC Scan for the BEP20 tokens. And then you're going to go to Holders, and then you can see how many tokens have been burned. So we'll use this in our calculations. Now let's go over to our Excel and check that out. So now on our trusty Excel, we've got one quadrillion. I use this particular design for all tokens, and then I just adjust it. So for normal calculations, you need all the data that's in yellow. So I leave one quadrillion in there because that's the same number. Their dead wallet quantity is 514 trillion, which leaves a total supply of 485 trillion. And you'll see that that comes down to our first calculation right here. Token distribution rate is 8%. We've got the price in here. We've got that, that volume of 11 million in there. And I'm gonna leave it at 1 billion. And, and we'll, we'll adjust the numbers a little bit just to see what happens if we change the numbers up a little bit. Now we need to first calculate our market share. And to calculate our market share, you take quantity of tokens owned divided by total supply. So we'll say 1 billion tokens is what we want. And then we put the amount minus the dead wallet for our total supply. And that gives us our market share. 
Then we can go down to the second part, which is determine your rewards. Now that rewards calculation is rewards is equal to your distribution rate, which is 8%, times your daily volume, times your market share. So we've got our 8%, our 11 million, our market share, and our daily rewards is $1.90, which isn't bad. So if you've got 1 billion tokens, you should be getting about $2 per day or $694 per year. Well, you might say, well, that's not a lot of money. Well, that's right. But 11 million isn't a lot in volume either. So let's see what happens if price doesn't matter for calculating rewards. Price only matters when you say, well, how many dollars did you get? Then it matters, right? Because everybody cares about getting dollars. But the actual price really doesn't matter to the calculation. But let's say, for example, that our 11 million goes up. What do we think it's going to go up to? What are the potential possibilities for Evergrow? Could it possibly match Shiba Inu? Well, let's go take a look at Shiba Inu for a second. All right, so if we look at Shiba Inu, that's a massive volume. Now, are we going to get $1 billion in volume tomorrow? No, absolutely not. Shiba Inu has been around for a little while. But is it possible that we'll get to $1 billion or $1.8 billion? I don't see why not. Well, so let's use that. And you can play around with the, the numbers all you want to see what it's going to turn out based on the number of tokens you got. But I like to use Shiba Inu because it's another token out there. And some of the benefits are a little bit better for Evergirl over Shiba Inu, which doesn't have a docs team. It doesn't have a really much of a burn rate. It really doesn't have as many things going for it as Evergirl does. So I think Evergirl has got probably more potential than Shiba Inu at this particular juncture. Let's go take a look now. So we'll go ahead and put that number in here. And let's see what happens. That's a significant increase. So now we're looking at $300 a day, $9,000 a month, and $112,000 a year. Is that possible for you? I think we would all be ecstatic at that potential growth. Now, would you sell knowing that that's a possibility? Now, I've got about 100 million, right? So let's change my calculation here. So I'm getting $11,000 a year. That's pretty pathetic. So maybe I want to increase. But when's the right time to increase? I don't know. It depends on what your goals are. So I put this together as well. Purchase estimate total. It uses whatever price is over here. And then it tells you roughly what you're going to get for your tokens. So if I put $1,000 right now based off of this 0.2864. Now granted, there's there's a tax on that. The, you know, the fee that you get charged from every gross. So you're not actually going to get... 3.4 billion tokens, you're going to get a little bit less because there's some fees. So $1,000 isn't necessarily going to get you exactly 3.4, but it's pretty close. And for planning purposes, that's really what we need to do. I'm not going to do the, I, I could put in the, the fee reduction as well, but this is just supposed to be roundabout. So let's calculate this over. Let's move this number. So we'll copy this and we'll put that in our total now I'm getting some real money, $1,000 every single day, $393,000 a year, based off of what Shiba Inu is right now. Now, is Shiba Inu getting $1.8 billion every single day? No. So there's some fluctuation here. And is, it gonna, is Evergrow going to get $1.8 billion this year? Probably not. It's very unlikely, especially with only 70,000 holders. But you can see the potential. And now you can see how the calculations work. Now, token consolidation is something that SafeMoon is doing. I, I tend to think it makes a lot of sense for a lot of tokens. So I've got that on there. I'm not going to talk about that in this video because it's not currently relevant. I've also got a calculator for that as well. Now, just one disclaimer. I, I've done a couple of videos using this. And when I built it, I put the wrong name here. I think I put quantity of tokens or something along those lines. What I meant to say was market share, just to keep all the lingo the same through it. It's the exact same calculation. I just had, what I was thinking was market share, but I wrote quantity of tokens because it's kind of the same thing. It's your market share quantity of tokens compared to everybody else.
but that's what I meant to put in there. So if you see one of the old videos, that's what that was. And eventually I'll get around to replacing that just to make sure that it's consistent. But that's your calculations. So those are the two formulas you need. Go ahead and take a screen capture of the screen. All you need is those two formulas and you can do all the math yourself. It's pretty easy. And if you use an Excel, it's even easier. But that's it for today. I just kind of want to walk through the calculations for how to calculate the rewards of the income. Hopefully you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you want me to cover in greater depth or if there's something else you want me to cover. Again, if you like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications so you get notified when I publish more content. Until next time, stay strong with those diamond hands. Crypto Newbie here to tell you how you can get $2,340 in free stocks. All the links I use in this video are in the description. Sign up for Webull and get two free stocks valued up to $2,300. Your first stock is free automatically. Deposit any amount and you get your second stock. Deposit one penny and you get your second stock. Total value could be up to $2,300. Generally $5 per stock is what you get. Next we have block fee. Get $10 in Bitcoin just for signing up. A read the fine print. I've got a rewards account. You'll get $40 in Bitcoin as will I. So you know exactly what I'm gonna get and what you're gonna get. You do need to deposit $100 to get your $40 in Bitcoin. That's the overview how to get $2,300 $40 just by signing up for accounts.